What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing something super cool. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes of a styled bridal shoot. So what a styled bridal shoot is, is where a bunch of vendors come together and plan a really cool shoot with a bride, a groom, really nice flowers, uh, a stage shoot where everyone collaborates with their expertise. I'm providing the photography, a florist is coming in, we have a limo guy coming in, like, we're just going to capture really good images for everyone to use in their marketing. And it's a really great way to grow your portfolio if you're just getting into weddings because it's a less stressful situation. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, you? Doing well? Are they all in the back or are you meeting us here? Uh, they're hey. coming here now. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Jeremy, by the way. Robert, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you, Robert. Johnny. All right, so we're at our first location now. The limo just arrived. Mary and Douglas are going to be coming here soon. We're just trying to relocate a new location to take photos with the limo because this parking lot is not the best for an appeal of like the epic coming out of the limo shot. So we're probably going to go to a church up the street and relocate because this is pretty badass. <laughs> Finally meet you, Mary. Yeah. Heard a lot about you. Good things with her. Dougie. What's up, Douglas, buddy? man. Dude, you get a hug, man. Oh, man. How you been, oh, man? Oh, good. I don't want to push Chris up. Go in here. What's going on, Douglas? Nice to meet you, man. On a normal shoot, I'd really focus on the couple's emotions and their personalities, but when it comes to a styled shoot, you really need to focus on all the little details from the flowers, the necklace, the earrings, and to everything that went into the shoot with the dress, because that's the images that are going to be useful for all the vendors involved. Here, we'll go to the other side, yeah. Now a big tip when you're just getting into couple portraits or weddings is to really get comfortable with your camera so when you're actually on the shoot, you can just have an easygoing time and make them laugh and talk to them. And I rarely actually look at my screen. I think during the shoot I looked at my screen three times to make sure the photo was good because I can actually use the metering mode to make sure I'm actually having a proper exposure. Another quick tip is to think about your background as well. Since I was shooting tight and I was shooting upwards, I was always trying to make trees in the background rather than the highway or any buildings. Now for this last shot, if I stood up you would have seen the church brick in the background, but since I got lower to the ground and used the tree leaves in the background, it made it for a really compelling photo and the bokeh in it really contrasts to the photo. Alright, so now we're here at a local restaurant and we're going to be doing photos of a pretend reception near a window and it's gonna be really nice for natural light. It's gonna be a good time. It's at the charcoal group. Those flowers look good. We're still waiting for the room. No problem, it's gonna be this room or Uh no, it's gonna be two different rooms. All right, so a nice trick for doing ring photos is if you have a 50 millimeter, um, is taking it off, flipping it, and then putting on your LCD screen and then you can get a macro shot. It's like turning your lens into a macro lens. And you can get nice and close and get a beautiful shot. Make sure it's by a window. That's the biggest step for shooting jewelry is always by a window for a beautiful natural light. All right, so now we're doing some detailed shots of Mary's amazing work here with the flowers. And with this, we have a nice big studio flash to our right. Now it's just gonna really add a nice big boom of fluorescent light. And then we also have some tungsten light behind us and above us there. So it's gonna add a nice balance of like natural feel light and then a nice like ambient, like it's kind of like lit by candles type of thing. So yes, we're balancing two light sources, but it's not being overthrown by the tungsten. Now a big tip when you're lighting a subject is to have your camera to the right of the subject so it's kind of like the light source is coming to the side of it instead of head on. If the light source is coming head on it's very flat and not dynamic but if it comes from the side it kind of gives 3D dimension on the subject so that's why my flash is right there. I'll show you before and after. Now we'll put it in the front and you'll see the difference. So now the light's going to bounce off the ceiling and put it directly in front. And then it just adds more like shadows on this side, highlights on that side. It just looks more dynamic. Now it's just boring and flat and ugly.
Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. If you want any of the free presets, they're in the description. You just have to sign up for the newsletter to receive them. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to get into wedding photography, food photography, or anything like that, setting up a style shoot is really crucial to your growth. So go out there and shoot.